Okay, so what we're actually going to do is we're going to wire it up to the motor power here. So let's just kind of move some of these cables out of the way. And we're going to position this such that it's easy to get it in there and uh, let's see. It's not going to get snagged on anything. So I'm just running this underneath the board. There we go. Now it's important that you hook this up correctly. Take note of the ground pins and the voltage pins. So we're going to go ahead and switch our bits here. We're going to need a small flathead screwdriver. And you're just going to have to put it in there and just, you don't have to take the screw out all the way. Just take it out enough so that it's just kind of peeking out from the blue. Now the ground is the one over here and this is the voltage. So we're going to hook up the ground. It's a little too long, so let's go ahead and give it a little chew. Make sure when you wire this up that you have the switch in the off position. We've made sure that, and we do. And what you want to do is just hold the wire in place as you tighten it. Now you'll feel that you'll be clamping on the wire. Give it a quick tug just to make sure. We made a boot that the actual power was up instead of down. But as you can see, there is power applied to the unit and it seems to be functional. Now, what we do here at this point is what is before wiring it up is start. Go ahead and plug this into the USB port on your computer and download the Arduino software. Make sure you can communicate with the board. Uh, but that looks good. Alright, so that's wired up. Now the next part will be to wire up the motors. Now what I'm going to be doing is, is I'm going to be wiring up the left together with the right. It's that simple. Nothing fancy. So let's start off with the right. I'm going to run these cables underneath the uh, board. Just like so. Now I, er I said earlier that we'll be trimming these. I'm not going to trim them right yet, just yet. I'm first going to run these through. Okay, so what I'm going to do is these are labor one and motor two. Let me see which one is which. So this is motor one and this is motor two. So motor one, I'm going to say, is going to be the right hand side. Motor two is going to be the left hand side. Okay, so in order to do that, let's kind of see how much cabling we need. So that we get a nice, okay, so that's about right. And I'm gonna just go ahead and cut those cables there. It leaves about three inches off. Now, I cut them based off of how I'm gonna position them. So I'm gonna go back, get my razor, and I'm gonna get my wire strippers. I have to restrip these wires. Be cautious here because I didn't really give ourselves any room for error. And you don't want to mess this up because you don't have much wire and if you mess this up you're gonna to have to get new wire, open this all up again and redo it. Now at this point you're gonna just strip off a smidge of this just enough to allow you
Okay, so we've done the first one. Now let's do the second. demo we're not going to do that so now the reason why I'm doing motor one motor two like that motor one being left motor two being right is because you need to be able to you, you want to be able to turn the unit if I'm if I just do this one and this one well this is motor one motor two I'm only going to, be able to go backwards and forwards that's not going to work for us you know so we need to do it right the other part is is that we need to make sure that they're wired correctly so let's go ahead and set that up you want to make sure that black is with black and red is with red so your ground with ground and your positive your, your voltage with voltage and that's going to have to be wired into the actual unit so again we'll follow the same step we did before just enough so that this slicks out. There we have it. We're going to go ahead and you want and op optimally or optionally, you know, go ahead and you can actually twist these together and connect them if you want. Um, that's one way of doing it. And let's see which way works for best. Trim off a little of the fat, just like we did before. These turn out to be just a little bit too long. Now the wires that come with this kit have a black wire that has partially red. So be careful, make sure you wire it right. Give both wires a quick snug or a quick, uh, quick tug to make sure that they're correct. And I already did. So now we're ready to wire up the voltage. Now I put them on the right, so let me come back real quick. So it appears that, yep, I have them swapped around. So let's just kind of take that out. See how easy that, that came right out. Let's go ahead and put the other wires in. Okay, so that's right up now. We're going to the left hand side like we talked about. And just snip these off here because I know I'm going to have to snip them off anyways. Okay, so now Strip these. 